This is Travel Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we present you with another incredible country. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Chile. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello, ALUXers, and welcome back to another video brought to you by our team here at ALUX.com. We're back with another interesting topic for today. Let's take a virtual tour to Chile, shall we? Being the world's longest country, measuring 4,620 kilometers, Chile is guarded by the Andes Mountains from the north to south and gives spectacular sceneries to anyone deciding to visit. By its official name, the Republic of Chile, it's a country of extremes with a very interesting history behind it. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at ALUX. But let's see what makes Chile such an amazing country to visit. All right, ALUXers, here we go. 15 things you didn't know about Chile. Number one, Chilean territory includes the Easter Island and some Antarctic territory. Many countries own their own territories besides the mainland, and Chile is no exception. The country owns a few islands and territories outside of the mainland, such as the Pacific Islands of Juan Fernandez, Salas y Gomez, Desventuradas, and the famous Easter Island in Oceana. Chile also claims about 1,250,000 square kilometers or 480,000 square miles of Antarctica, though the claims fall under the Antarctic Treaty that wants to preserve the region untouched by human hands. Out of all these territories, Easter Island is the most famous one due to the giant statues. The statues, called Moai, were created by the early Rapa Nui people thousands of years ago, and the reason behind their construction still remains a mystery. Number 2. It is one of the most economically and socially stable nations in South America. In South America, most countries struggle to fight corruption, poverty, and improve services. Among them, Chile remains one of the most stable, both from an economic and social standpoint. Chile leads Latin American nations in rankings of human development, competitiveness, income per capita, globalization, state of peace, economic freedom, and low perception of corruption. And if you don't know this by now, Chile is also a founding member of the United Nations, the Union of South American Nations, UNASUR, and the Community of Latin American and Caribbean States, CELAC, which only proves the importance of this country on a global political scene. Number 3. They have the world's biggest swimming pool in the world. The Guinness Book is full of weird records, and most of them are related to really big things. Well, you'd be surprised to know that Chile held some of the world records over time, and one of them is quite spectacular. Back in 2016, at the San Alfonso del Mar Resort, they built the world's largest swimming pool with a length of over 9 football fields and a capacity of 66 million gallons of water brought directly from the Pacific Ocean, then filtered and treated. Unfortunately, in the meantime, in Egypt, an even bigger pool was built and dethroned the Chilean one that became the second largest swimming pool in the world. Number 4. Chile is home to five UNESCO World Heritage Sites. UNESCO World Heritage Sites is an association that aims to protect and conserve the world's most beautiful and impressive sites for future generations to enjoy. Chile is home to five UNESCO World Heritage Sites that recognize places of special cultural significance. Exploring Chile's World Heritage Sites gives you an insight into the human history, old cultures, and breathtaking landscapes. Easter Island, Humberstone and Santa Laura Saltpeter Works, the Churches of Chiloé, Sewell Mining Town, and the Seaport of Valparaiso are the five UNESCO World Heritage Sites you can visit in the country. They are all equally beautiful and special. Make sure to check it out while visiting Chile. Number 5. Iris Fontbona is the richest person in Chile, with a net worth of $17.7 billion. 
One of the richest people in Chile is Iris von Bona, a Chilean businesswoman that inherited her fortune from her late husband. According to Bloomberg Billionaires Index, her fortune is now worth $17.7 billion, made in the mining industry after taking over the Antofagasta PLC company. She's now the fourth richest person in the southern region of the continent, and her fortune is set to be 6% of Chile's GDP. Quite impressive, wouldn't you say? Of course, she and her husband were also involved in other industries, like banking, copper, breweries, and shipping. In the name of their father, one of their daughters created a foundation and the whole family is very active in philanthropy. Number 6. Their World Bank Ranking Dropped Under the Former Administration Chile's former administration under President Michelle Bachelet, the first female president of the country, has faced a lot of struggles. As we mentioned before, Chile is an economically stable country unlike its Latin American neighbors, but unfortunately for them, their latest administration brought Chile's rankings below those of Colombia and Mexico, two countries heavily marked by corruption and violence. The former president stated that the World Bank reports must be mistaken and the administration did nothing wrong for the rankings to go down. Chile currently ranks 55th out of 190 countries on the list, down from 34th in 2014, the year Bachelet took office. Number 7. Chilean priests and Pope Francis were involved in a sex scandal. The Catholic Church has sadly been marked by sex scandals and pedophile controversies a lot over the years. Recently, Chile was involved in a massive sex scandal that dragged Pope Francis and the whole Catholic Church into it. Apparently, one Chilean bishop abused a series of minor children and tried to cover up the whole process. The media successfully uncovered it during Pope Francis' visit to Chile. He didn't address the rumors, but later stated that he is sorry for not paying enough attention to this serious problem. He's invited representatives of the victims and Chilean bishops to the Vatican to seek their forgiveness and to thank the public for exposing the scandal and the victims for testifying. Number 8. Swedish People Illegally Adopted Children from Chile in the 70s and 80s Another scandal that shook Chile and the world was the one involving illegal children adoptions by the Swedes back in the 70s and 80s. It all started when Swedish couples, with the help of the Adoption Center in Chile, managed to go around the law and adopted around 2,000 children without informing authorities. An investigation conducted by some Chilean journalists and a Swedish TV company found out that the children were illegally taken away from their mothers, which led to coercion and kidnapping allegations. Sadly, over 30 years have passed since the incident, and it's now difficult to track down everybody involved. Number 9. The Atacama Salt Lake is a major attraction. Chile is a country that has it all. Mountains, ocean, volcanoes, desert, and plains. They have it. You basically need a whole month to fully grasp the country, the cities, and the culture they have. A very major attraction to all tourist visits is the Atacama Desert and the Salt Lake, which is surrounded by mountains and has no drainage outlets. The whole desert is surrounded by tall Andes peaks. How did it end up there, you ask? Well, all the water falling from the mountains evaporated and left nothing but salt behind. The lake is actually the third largest salt flat in the world. The landscape often looks like a brown coral reef, and it's one of the driest places on Earth. Number 10. The most expensive house is worth $10.5 million, and it's located in Patagonia. As you've noticed by now, Chile is an amazing country, and we strongly advise you to visit if you can. Many people fall in love with it and decided to buy expensive properties there. And this is the case with Douglas Rainsford Tompkins, an American conservationist, outdoorsman, philanthropist, filmmaker, agriculturalist, and businessman. He's the founder of the famous brand The North Face, and whilst traveling and doing work in Chile, he fell in love with Patagonia, the southern region of the country, and bought a farm there that is now worth over $10 million. The farm is now for sale since the mogul died in 2015. The property holds a 3,455 square foot primary house with five spacious but cozy bedrooms, an epicurean kitchen, 
1,722 square foot guest house with three bedrooms, a house for a caretaker, a barn, and an 1,800 foot airstrip. Number 11. They support UFO research. In movies, aliens always appear in the US and the whole plot revolves around the misunderstandings between the species. Unlike the movie depictions, Chile actually supports UFO research and works closely with NASA and other countries to understand extraterrestrial phenomena. Due to its low humidity, high altitude ridges and clear skies with little pollution, Chile has become a favorite among UFO seekers from around the world and is often mentioned as the country with the highest recorded number of UFO sightings. In 2003, a skeleton that was believed to be an alien was discovered, but it turned out to be a human skeleton with a lot of mutations. Bummer. Number 12. Their newly elected president is a billionaire. Miguel Juan Sebastián Piñera Ecanique, or short Mr. Piñera, is the latest president elected by Chilean people. He took the place of the country's first female president, Michelle Bachelet. He first became president in 2010 and was followed by Bachelet. He was also Chile's first conservative president since the end of the military rule in 1990. Piñera's net worth is $2.8 billion as of March 2018, making him the fifth richest person in Chile, according to Forbes. Now as the president, he is still one of the richest people in the country and will still continue to be as his fortune is constantly growing. But I guess at least they don't have to fear he'll steal tax money, do they? Number 13. The oldest man in the world, 120 years old, was from Chile. There are only a few people in the world that live to be over 100 years old. Nowadays, it's even harder for humans to live over 100. Recently though, the oldest man in the world, 121 years old, died in a hospital due to lung punctuation and surgery. His story is quite sad since he lived over 100 and had no living relatives. Celino Villanueva Jaramillo was born on the 25th of July, 1896, but he was not recognized by the Guinness World Records due to the lack of official verification of his date of birth. Some of the people who took care of him stated that his life might have been better and longer if he had been better taken care of, but how much longer? Number 14. Alicia Makoe Ika is one of the most famous surfers in the world. Many people that manage to visit Chile from north to south fall in love with the country. You can see its beauty in the movie 180 Degrees South. This documentary, directed by Chris Malloy, covers the journey of Jeff Johnson as he travels from Ventura, California to Patagonia, Chile. He's retracing the 1968 trip that Yvonne Chouinard and Doug Tompkins took in their Ford E-Series Econoline van. In the movie, they reached Easter Island, where they took surf classes from Makoe. She's a native Rapa Nui actress, musician, surf instructor, and tourist agent from Easter Island. She was born to a Rapa Nui mother and a Chilean father, and found fame after appearing in the 2007 Hollywood-produced documentary. If you ever go to Chile and Easter Island, you can pay her a visit. Number 15. The oldest mummy in the world is from Chile. Most people believe that mummies can only be found in Egypt. In fact, mummies were found in multiple countries and the oldest one in the world comes from Chile. The Chincoro mummies from Chile are mummified remains of individuals from the South American Chincoro culture. They are the oldest examples of artificially mummified human remains, having been buried up to 2,000 years before the Egyptian mummies. The oldest mummy recovered from the Atacama Desert is dated around 7,020 BC, unlike mummies found in Egypt from 3,000 BC. These mummies are so old, they're starting to turn into black slime due to humidity. If the preservation conditions don't improve and researchers can't figure out how to stop the process, the mummies might be stored in bottles pretty soon. And that's a wrap on Chile for all the amazing things this country has. Before you go, make sure to answer our question. Do you believe we're alone in the universe or not? Let us know in the comment section. Since Chile is so amazing and you've lasted all the way to the end, because you're a true Aluxer, we have a surprise just for you. Here's your bonus fact. Number 16. Chile is the best place to see penguins. One of the cutest animals in the world are penguins, don't you agree, Aluxers? 
They're often portrayed as ice kings and skilled swimmers in cold areas, so pretty much all people think they live in the Arctic and the North Pole, but that is actually false. Penguins don't live in the northern regions at all, but in southern ones like South Africa, Patagonia, and Australia. If you want to see them in their natural habitat, then Chile is your best option since in 2017, the Chilean government rejected the plans for a billion dollar mining project as it would have disrupted the penguins' natural habitats. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.